It was a somber mood as thousands of mourners came for the final send-off of a man credited for propelling the careers of many musicians and advancing the music industry in general. The body of Area Sebunyabu Gembe, commonly known as Kasiukira, was laid to rest in his home in Nanzigamaya off the Kampala Massacre Highway. Kasiukira was reportedly run over by a car on Friday morning near his home in Muyenga, a Kampala suburb, as he was jogging. Meanwhile, police has apologized for mishandling the scene of crime near the deceased music promoter's home. Police spokesman Fred Enanga says the Professional Standards Unit has been tasked to investigate the conduct of scene of crime officers. There have been concerns that Kasiukira's body was poorly handled and onlookers were allowed to tamper with the scene of crime. I want to apologize for uh, this policy in action and uh, the Pro Professional Standards Unit has already been tasked to investigate the conduct of police officers. Elsewhere, the High Court has ruled that the National Council of Higher Learning did not have the power to nullify the degree of the Mombasa governor, Ali Hassan Joho. The court also ruled that it was wrong for the National Council of Higher Education to rely on a police report to recall Governor Joho's degree obtained from Kampala University. Governor Joho's lawyers and the Kampala University legal team welcomed the decision saying the matter had been politicized by Joho's rivals. The National Council of Higher Education made the decision without hearing from the university uh, made the decision relying on a police report which was contemptuous of a high court order and thirdly that the National Council did not have power to investigate an individual degree granted to uh, a student by a university which has, it has chartered. And more than 1,000 health experts from all over the world were meeting in Berlin, Germany to discuss ways to stop the spread of the deadly Ebola virus. The German foreign minister urged the European Union to act faster and more effectively to put an end to the spread of Ebola. The call comes as the World Health Organization moves to declare Nigeria Ebola-free later today.